In this Eversys Academy video, we're going to explore the information that's available on the eConnect platform. So we're going to start off with jumping straight into the list of machines. And this front page will give you all the information at the very top of all the machines in your estate. So here we can very quickly see which machines are connected online, check them, their location. We can see if there are any errors currently on the machine in the priority of them. So if we need to jump in and see any further information, we can make sure that they were last cleaned and when they were last used. So this is a really helpful overview of all the equipment we have in our estate. But we can then jump straight into a single machine. So we're gonna jump into this machine that we have in the training room. And it'll bring us straight to the machine info page, which will give us a broader overview of the setup of that machine. So here we can see the serial number, the machine type, so which modules it has set up in it, the software. And as we scroll through, we can see the status, make sure it's online, the last time it was clean, and if there are any error or warning messages. And we can also see how long that machine has been in service. There's also information there about the CPU, the display, the hardware, any changes that have been made there, and its current up-to-date situation. So it's a really good overview of the machine, and we can make sure that we're looking at the right one and that everything's up-to-date. The real power of the eConnect system, though, is in the statistics and data that we have available. So we go straight to the products page, and this just gives us a really solid overview on how that machine is being used, when the busiest hours are during the day, and the most products that are being used. So we can see this very clearly, which products have been successful, the numbers that exist at various parts of the day. And then we can drive down even further. So if we go to the diagnostics and histories, we have a whole set of options here that are going to give us key information about how that machine is functioning. So if we start with cleaning, this isn't just going to tell us whether the machine's been cleaned, but it's going to give us all the information over what cleaning has been done and how successful it's been. It'll let us know if we've had days where we haven't made milk products, which also tells us something about the products that are being used. And it'll come up with certain codes telling us, was the cleaning chemical used? Has it been done properly? And we can see all the steps and at what time and at what temperature they've happened. And you can go all the way through the calendar. You can pull out specific days. You can see if there are patterns that machines aren't being cleaned effectively. As we continue to scroll through, we can then look at more important messages, like the error messages. In here, we'll have a solid log of every error that's been logged by the machine. And this is really good for future planning, particularly if we have a service coming up and we just want to see what parts we might want need available. In the van, we can make sure that the technician knows everything they need to know about the machine. If we go to the next setting, we can also look at events. And this is a slightly different layer of information that is also useful for a service technician. It'll let them know when we've jumped in with telemetry, if the technician has accessed the machine and made any changes, or if it's been logged in by the manufacturer when we've pushed for an update. So we can see that software update, we can see that it was successful, and we can see all the information in one place. Now, what I find really exciting is the fusion function. So this enables us to take various bits of data and organize them together and see if there are any repeated patterns. So we can see this huge wealth of information, but we can then filter it by, let's say, the products and by error messages. So we can see if there is an error that's being caused when we push a certain button, if, for example, people are using an espresso button and they're having to stop it manually. And that can really help us make changes to machines which we can do remotely from our laptop. So we'll get to that in a little bit. We can go further, we can look at info messages, which just gives us an idea again of how well the machine is functioning, but the various steps that need to happen during the day. So it's a lower level of urgency, it's just information that the machine is giving the user, and if there are any common patterns. A huge wealth of data is also under the product system. So we can go through these lists and we can see everything that the machine has produced. We can then filter that by product. So if we're really interested in, say, the double espresso, we can filter it by that product, by the grinder that's being used, and we can see the full piece of information about the grinder, when it's been finished, how often it's happening, and every time that we've served a double espresso from that button. We can also look at something like a milk drink. If we go to cappuccino, we can then see all the information about the milk that's been used, the program temperature, when it's been finished, how long it took to dispense, the steam pressure, which valve has been used. There's so much information here that can let us know how the users are using the machine. Are they matching our standard recipes? Are there any training issues that might need to be addressed? 
We can also learn things about the efficiency and the sustainability of the machine. So if we go to the rinse cycles, we can make sure that these are happening, but we can also check the flow rate, if there are any significant changes here, or changes to water pressure that are also going to impact our drink quality. So all of this information can also give us ideas on whether we need to look at water filtration, making changes to that system, so much data that's available. And finally, we have service. And under service, we can see any service technician work that has been done in the past. And again, we can look for patterns or confirm when a part has been changed or been updated and any changes that are therefore necessary in the future. So that's an overview of all of the different pieces of information that are available that can influence things we might want to change on the machine. And we don't need to go to site to do that. We also have remote access, so we can log directly into a machine that's functioning in one of our sites. We can log in and we can make changes, for example, to recipes. So if we have new blends incoming for the Monday, we can log in and we can make information changes to, let's say, the dose of coffee that we're using, our cake thickness. We can adjust those up or down. We can make sure it's saved and then we'll push straight through to the machine as long as it's connected online. This is an incredible system that really helps us make the most of having information in one place. And it's an ecosystem that you can plug in other software. So we have the APIs, so if this information is valuable, but you want to see it in a more curated view, this can tie into your ERP and other software you have in your business. So that's the eConnect system. I hope this overview was helpful.